Okay, I just updated one of my extruders. So, went from the stock, came with it. Um, really had no tensioner. Actually, the thing was lo loosening up and falling off. Um, I don't know how it even uh, printed uh, the screw bolts in it, or the bolts that connected to the drive motor. Or loose. So I just replaced the right side here. You can see the little uh, lever and uh, spring tensioner in it. And uh, my drive gear was just a uh, didn't have any groove on it, and the groove was actually on the bearing that was in this. So I didn't have any uh, new drive bearing or drive gears. I'm looking on eBay for them and. So far, the only place I can find is uh, Hong Kong that makes a prototype. So I'm trying to next look for to replace the gear drive for the extruder there. And uh, open up the bearing that I had here. And uh, you can see the groove was actually on, on the bearing. And the bearings I replaced with I had to make a little insert too for this. It's just a uh, from Hobby Town, a uh, bearing that goes for um, right here. It's one of those bearings right there, and uh, they have them at Hobby Town for three fifty, and you get two. It's a five by eleven by four. And I just had to make a little insert to take that uh, 5 diameter down to a 3 diameter to fit in this extruder that I made. And I just printed off a little uh, fill, uh, little uh, spacer and put it in there and see how long it works. Um, printing uh, two brackets. Um, the next thing I'm going to be adding are some uh, pillows, pillow brackets that go up in uh, here to help, uh, there'll be four of them, we'll put them uh, one on each side or two on each side and I'll put one over on this side and then two in the front and that will help uh, support that bar that goes there which um, flexes as the printer is printing right now. So adding these little bars on here, or these little brackets with those little bearings that I got from Hobby Town will uh, hopefully make this thing last for a while. And we'll just take a quick little look at what's printing here. I'm printing two of those brackets. And it's kind of hard to see here on this side. When I remounted my fan, I put it kind of low so it's hard to see what I'm printing right now. Um, just uh, continuing with that print and uh, see how long this works. So, thanks again. Hopefully, uh, you found this a little helpful. Um, I just found the found the part for the extruder on uh, Thingiverse, and I'll put a link to that. And it says uh, a D4 on the side here. And uh, there's a guy that made this. And I just got the spring at uh, the springs at uh, Menards. They had the right kind of spring that seemed to fit right in there. So I'll, I'll put a post of that kind of spring I used, uh, the bearing size. And uh, you got questions? Uh, just send a post to me. Hopefully, this is helpful.